Today, we're visiting Epic member Fluence Technology, who has an amazing laser system here, the Jasper Flex. So do I understand this is all fiber? It is, yes, indeed. It is all fiber, including the oscillator, preamplifier, and amplifier stage. The only free space component is the compressor at the very end, but what it really provides is this unique stability and reliability in its long lifetime. So you're really proud of your oscillator. Give me a few details on this oscillator. It's obviously the best in the world, right? Obviously it is, yeah. So this is technology that we were working on since 2003, so uh, quite a long time. And we obtained this very small compact oscillator, which is uh, cost effective and is also very reliable uh, when it comes to vibration uh, and power stability. So uh, you can we test it to 40G vibration test, uh, minus 10 degrees to plus 40 Wait, degrees. 40 Gs? 40 Gs, yes. For your oscillator? Yes. Okay, this is amazing, but I mean, aren't fiber lasers more expensive than free space? Well, very often they are, but also thanks to making it simplified construction, we could save this cost so that you can get a fiber laser at the cost of the free space laser. Wait, I'm getting a fiber laser for the cost of a free space laser. So this is something, a laser system that I can use to retrofit the factory uh, like for factory purposes, but do I understand that this is also useful in the life sciences? Like two micron spectroscopy? Two mic or explain this to me, I might be dropping some terms. Yeah, so uh, one of the applications of this laser is two photon, two -photon uh, microscopy. Yes. So uh, this is used in uh, neurosciences to look at, for example, how mice brain behaves and how it works. So you're actually able to see like the neurons firing in a mouse's brain, basically. Is that what I understand? That is correct, yeah. Wow, so this laser is not only for factory use, it is for life science. It's incredibly precise, it works within factory ranges, right? From like minus 10, right? To what temperature? Plus 40 degrees for the oscillator. For yes. the oscillator? Of course, we don't recommend running this one for uh, low temperatures to do water condensation, but uh, it gives for sure um, much more um, flexibility because you can also tune the repetition rate, you can tune the power duration from femtoseconds to picoseconds, so you can, for example, process many materials with just one laser. Wait, many materials, one laser, so that ultimately saves cost, that gives me greater return on my laser investment. And gives you like much of flexibility because you can just have one laser and try prototyping with different materials whatever you want to, to do. But what about the maintenance costs on this? I mean, come on, like this is a low cost laser, it's a reasonably cost, but what about the maintenance? Don't I need to account for like 10,000 euros a year or something? Oh, that's the beauty of fiber lasers, it's because everything is a spliced fiber, nothing misaligns, so that when you're looking at long term, you save money and save time on the service. This is simply amazing. This is another example of Polish photonics power. Epic members, Drive the photonics revolution.